Hey, hey, hey. Just waking up, y'all. And let's do a quick check-in. I'm starting to try to get used to uh, doing a more of a vlog type of setup because every time I get on video, I'm already, I'm already glammed up. But uh, I want y'all to see the real me sometimes you see what i'm saying but anyways um it's my little uh never got to wear it it's my little walmart summer dress i'm losing a little bit of weight because i haven't been eating i had a really bad stomach ache about I think it was three days ago, no, four days ago I had that Spanish food and the oil or something that they used to cook the plantains must have been spoiled, not spoiled, um, like old and my stomach hasn't been the same since so it's like, it's forced me to be on a diet <laughs> to get my stomach back. I've been taking the um, probiotics. But my stomach has been like really messed up since then. I bought these um these cute clips. I love them. I haven't even opened this one. These are pearls. Ain't they cute? I'm gonna put this one on. It looks plastic, but it has like a metal. It feels like a metal type of. I ain't really doing much today. I'll be around the house unpacking because that's why I'm making the video. I had sort my phone. Oh, I had sort of like a oh damn, the thing went off. I had sort of like a family situation. Um, I had thought my granddaughter was going to be gone by now, but she's still here and my job is not going to hold my spot they told me i'll probably have to reapply my trucking job they'll say they was like well you exhausted your leave and if you're not coming back within 24 hours we're gonna have to like you know take you out the system or whatever and i was like okay well if i decide to reapply i reapply but you know what at this point i don't feel like i want to go back to trucking um there was a reason why I needed to be back in New York. And I don't have a place in Georgia no more. So, and then my ex was offering me to stay at his house while I get my stuff together. My DOT and all that stuff. And I was like, mm, I'm trying to stay on the right path as far as getting right spirituality, getting right with God. I don't need nobody to like get me back in that negative mindset because when people feel like they helping you they start treating you all kind of bad or they start trying to like you know look down on you like you know what i mean so at this point i think i just want to stay in new york and do my first plan which was to you know, look for a healthcare job. So I think God made it kind of like almost impossible for me to get back to Georgia. And maybe it's for the best because everything I was trying to do to get to Georgia these last two weeks has been, you know, I lost my car. I have no transportation. It's like I'm forced now to do it the way God wants me to do it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like he's telling me, no, do not go back to Georgia. So, probably it's best I stay here for about a year or two, save up to move to Trinidad. Um, I'm going to probably go visit Trinidad early next year. Take a, a little trip out there. But for right now, I think I'm just going to stay put. My granddaughter should be leaving in about a week. 
her mom was having some stuff, some traveling issues. So once she's uh, back down south, I can set up my additional bedroom for an office where I could do my YouTube in peace. Because as you see, I'd be hiding in the bathroom because people always stopping me for making a video. But I just wanted to give you a quick update. I just woke up. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm a little crazy right now, but I just woke up. Still haven't gotten the puffiness out of my eyes. But hopefully I can get back on before the end of the week. Love you guys much. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.